in a world where there are many cases of rare hair colors appearing more and more. I have also heard of cases where rainbow hair has powers or golden hair is the son of a king. So my case is not an exception either. My name is Isabella and this is my story of how I got the rarest hair like they did. Gosh, the number of people with the rarest hair is increasing. For each region, there will be a different rare hair. So, this Anna girl has rainbow hair and this Kevin has golden hair. I don't know at my place, what color would my rare hair color be? My upcoming 15th birthday will reveal everything. I can't wait to see it. What are you doing? Oh mom, I'm doing nothing. Just reading some news about people with rarest hair. Don't care, put the phone away. It passed your bedtime. Yes, mom. Sorry. Mom, can I ask you a question before you leave? Ask quickly. I don't have much time. Jeez, mom. Why are you always with that angry voice? I'm just asking you. Okay, fine. Ask then. Why is your hair red? What does it represent for? Shut up and go to bed. I won't answer it. Why does she have to be mean like that all the time? Dad. I wish you were here with me. I miss you so much. Tomorrow. Isabella, breakfast? Yes, mom. I'm coming down right now. Okay, where is my breakfast? Huh, what breakfast? What? You just yelled at me to go downstairs and have breakfast. I said breakfast, but it doesn't mean I made breakfast for you. Is something with your brain? Do it yourself. Why didn't you say so? I think I'm full. I will go to school then. At school. All right, class. Quiet and settle down. Good, Good morning, morning, teacher. Morning, class. Okay. Today, we will learn about hair colors when y'all turn 15. Yes, finally, we can learn about hair colors. I just read about some people with rare hair yesterday. Okay. Good. But their rare hair will different from ours. Can you tell me what's the difference, Isabella? Oh, sorry, teacher. I didn't get to that part when my mom came in and told me to go to sleep. Okay. Anyone else know the difference? Can you tell me now? Well, okay then. The first color is brown. It means you're smart and a trustworthy person. As you can see, I had brown hair. That means y'all can trust me as your teacher. The next one is red. It means you're rude means all the time. Really, sir? The red color? Yes, that's what I've been taught so far. And they will have power to control the weather and turns it into the storm. Oh my, my mom has red hair. So it's true because she's always mean to me, sir. I will never satisfy her enough, but she never used the power on me. Haha, <laughs> sad for you, but you deserved it. Huh? How can I be deserved it? Stop it, Kate. Don't talk to her like that. Well, I've never had a red hair in my family so I don't know how to give you advice. It's okay, sir. I will figure out something to please her. Okay. Back to the lesson. Where were I? Oh, oh. next one is white hair. It means that you're pretty or handsome and have ability to read minds. Cool. I love this hair. Hope I can get it. The hair you get will base on your personality. Oh. oh. The next one is blonde. You will become rich and famous. Oh, I love this hair. I love famous. What about the rarest color, sir? Can you share with us? My knowledge about this hair color is very limited. I don't know anything much about it. But the rarest hair color is pink. As far as I know, it will give the strongest power. You can control everything around you. Create anything you want. Wow. wow. Okay. That's enough for today. See you guys later. Bye, Bye teacher. teacher. A few days later. Mom, I will have my hair changed tomorrow. It's my birthday tomorrow. Okay, look closely at my face. Um, I'm looking at it. Do I look like I care? Jesus, it's true what the teacher said. Red hair is not the hair I want at all. Okay, good night, Mom. I'm going to bed now. Don't care. You will get the same hair as mine anyway. I will not get the same hair as you, Mom. Gosh, what if I got the same as hers? I will be a rude person just like her.
I don't like it at all. I hope tomorrow, I can get anything but red. Please, don't be red. Around midnight. Let's see what kind of personality you are. Oh wow, I haven't seen anyone like you before. You will not definitely get red, of course. Okay, you will be surprised with what you get. Early tomorrow morning. Oh God, today is the day. I'm so excited right now. I need to see my hair right away. Thanks God, it's not red. I will not be like mom. It's pink, look nice on me. Okay, what was the pink again? But the rarest hair color is pink. As far as I know, it will give the strongest power. You can control everything around you. Oh my freaking God, I got pink. No freaking way. There is no freaking way I'm getting pink. Mom, come up here quickly. What the freaking hell? What do you want? Look at my hair. You gotta got pink, but but how? I don't know how, Mom. I just woke up and I looked in the mirror. You supposed to get red just like me, not pink? My hair turned black into pink. Am I the fifth member of Blackpink? <laughs> What should I do with the hair now, mom? It's the rarest hair, people will look at me. I don't care, people look at you or not, isn't my concern. Do whatever you want. Gosh, what should I do now? No wait, I'm thinking about it. If they come looking for you, I'll be involved too. I can't let that happen. So you're gonna help me? You will wear a wig to hide it. Okay, where can I find a wig now? I have it, wait a minute. Wow, where did you get that? It's pretty expensive. Sometimes I hate my red hair. So I have to wear this to meet people outside. Oh, I didn't know you hate your hair. Wear it, it will help you hide your hair. Thanks, mom. Okay, just be careful, people will notice. Yes, mom, I will be careful. At school. Oh, Isabella, you got the same hair as me. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. I got white hair. Kate, you really got pink hair? Of course. What else do you think? Everyone will look at me now. I will be the most famous person in the world. Wow, I'm happy for you. Okay, okay. Quiet down, everyone. I can see everyone here has had their hair colored now, but I don't know if your hair color is real. So it need to be checked. What? what? What's wrong? Isabella and Kate. Oh, I'm nothing, teacher. Yeah, it's nothing. Can we postpone? My hair just turned pink. And I don't want any devices on my hair. Yeah, she's right. No, I can't do that. It's the procedure for everyone when you have a hair color change. I also brought the device here. Device? device? Okay, it's quite heavy, but it's here now. Oh, oh shit. shit. Sir, what did it do? I scan this device to your hair. It will reveal true nature. You can't hide your true hair. Oh my god, I can't hide my hair now. Okay, Greg, you first. Yes, teacher. Okay, I will scan now. There will be a little flashlight passing through your body. Okay. Wow, is it done? Yep, it's done. Your true color hair is white. That's my hair. Okay. Now for power test. White hair can read mine, right? I don't know how to use it. Just focus on my eyes and you will know. I will think inside my head and you will read it. Yes, teacher. Three. Barbecue. I love wearing this outfit. What the hell? You. Gross. Why did he say that? Did you read anything? Oh, um, yeah. I have read your mind. Okay. You can say it out loud for everyone to hear. Ah, may it's three. Barbecue and go on. Finish. Gosh, why did you think that? I love wearing this outfit. It's indeed correct. You use your power very good. Okay, go back to your seat. Kate, you're up. This is not your true hair color. Okay, okay, you got me. I actually had red hair color. So you just want to get attention. I hate red hair. 
I should have had pink hair instead. You can't have the hair you like, Kate. You should be satisfied with the hair color you have. Okay. Now for the checking power. Um, we should go outside to test. Okay, Kate. It's really hot, so I want you to control the weather. Can you make it rain? Okay, I'll try. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Kate, easy. Don't lightning us. Wow, so cool. Okay, you can go down here. You like Storm in X-Men, Kate. Thanks, Greg. Your reading mind is cool, too. Great work. Kate, your power control is good. You're the last, Isabella. Oh dear, it's my turn now. Um, can we skip to tomorrow? No. We have to do it now. God dang. Not true hair color. What's wrong with the girls today? Why do you have to hide your real hair? Okay. Okay. This is my true hair. What? what? Pink, pink hair? Pink hair. But but I have never seen someone with pink hair with my own eyes. Are you real, Isabella? No way you got pink hair, loser. It's supposed to be me. I don't know what to say. You're full of the powers. I think you don't have to show us anything. Okay. Hey, hey. Don't come closer to her. Isabella, oh my god, you have pink hair. I love you, Isabella. Marry me. What are they doing? You need to get out of here. People know you have pink hair now. Run, Isabella. We will hold them for you. It should have been me. What the hell were you thinking, Isabella? I'm sorry. He kept making me check the hair. And all the world knows you have pink hair. Isabella, come out here. We want to take photos of you. Oh my god, they're outside the house? Gosh, you let them straight to our house. Now they're trying to break in. Hey, get out of my house. Isabella, look at the camera. Isabella, do something. Aye, aye. What should I do? I wish I can teleport out of here. What just happened? I think I just teleport us. Jesus, now we can't go back to our own house anymore. Greg. Oh my God, Isabella, are you okay? I tried to stop them, but there's so many. I couldn't stop. Where are you now? I think I'm in the alley, near at my house. Can you come over to my place? You will be safe here. I can't go out right now. People will recognize me. I know a shortcut. Just follow my instruction. Okay. What did he say? Now we will go to his house. We will be safe there. He showed me a shortcut so no one could see us. Okay, let's go. Does anyone follow you? No, I don't see anyone. Thanks God, no one will notice you're here. Thank you Greg, for doing this. It's nothing, that's what friends are for, right? Yeah, yeah, it's love. Oh, oh, hi, Ms. Dot Badger. I'm Greg, Isabella's classmates. Everyone will save here. Have some cookies to calm your mind. In important times, just a cookie can calm us down. You must be Greg's mom. Thank you for having us. No, no. It should be me thanking you. You're the most important one. A legendary girl with pink hair. I think it gives me more trouble. I don't like it at all. Everyone, including me, desires to have pink hair once. What does that mean, mom? Oh. It's nothing. Make yourself at home. I can't even understand what she means by that. You can't read her mind? We have the same hair. We can't read each other's minds. Mom acted kinda weird lately. I think we found another girl with the most powerful hair, like you. Don't you think we should protect her? Definitely, they're in danger. Those people come after you before, they will come after them. Yep. We should keep eyes on them. At Kate's house. It should have been me. I should be the one famous. I should be the one take her place. I should be the one people know more about, not her. Tomorrow. This is an urgent announcement to be broadcast to all citizens. Now what? We found out there is a girl with we pink hair. We, we need you to show up. Anyone tries to hide her, Anyone there will be consequences. Thank you. Hide. What? 
This is the government? It's okay. No one will find you here. You will be safe with us. Is she? Huh. huh. What are you saying, Mom? What are you trying to do? I'm gonna call the government. We'll hand her over. No, we can't do that. She will be experimented. I don't care. But the things that involve the government will have no good ending for you. No, please. Don't do this. Mom, are you crazy? We supposed to protect them. And you shouldn't bring her here. She is not our concern. How could you say that? If it were me, would you protect the same? But she didn't have it, okay? I don't argue with you anymore. I'll call them. They're here. I have her. You should. Why did you do that? Too late. They already knew and they're coming. Isabella, let's get out of here. I know Greg will keep you safe, so I came. Kate, what are you doing? You shouldn't be the one have pink hair. I should. Hey, I don't have time for this. I need to get out of here. I don't care. You took all my spotlight. Hey, how dare you do that to my daughter? I can do the same to you if you want. Hey, stop. We should protect each other. Who the heck are you? What's that with the rainbow hair? I know you. You're the one with the rainbow hair, also a rarest hair. I'm Anna and this is my boyfriend, Brendan. Isabella, we're alike more than you think. You had rarest hair like us, with the most powerful power. What what are you doing? I have been watching you for a couple days, you should come with us. The military government will come here soon. Let's them come, I will stop you. Kate, stop doing this, I didn't do anything to you. You? Mom, we don't have to discuss. She talks too much and is getting in our way. She is right. We need to get out of here soon. Wait, I have to call Greg. There is no time. We have to leave now. You're not going where? You will hand her over to me. Well, well, look who's here already. Anna, our girl. Leave now, or you will regret about it. Don't shoot. What are you doing? We haven't done anything to you. If you shoot again, people won't ever remember your existence. You will let us free to go, unharm. Of course, I won't do anything foolish without permission. You can hide, but you can't run forever, Anna. We should go now before they have permission to shoot us. Sir, what are we going to do to them? Anna and Brendan are also here to protect her. Ouch, my head. What happened? Who are you? Wait, don't shoot. Where is Isabella? I need to find her. Why do you want to find her? I hate her. I will- Okay, you can stop talking. We can be on the same team. Huh? Team up. We can find your friend together. Then what benefit will I get? You will get the protection from the government. No one can touch you. Good, and we might seek help from one more person. He can read mind, and he is Isabella's friends. Good. A week later after that. Greg didn't hear my phone. I hope he will be okay. I'm sure he's okay. If he gets caught, we'll save him. This is all my fault. I shouldn't come to his house. If he has the heart to help you, consider it a favor. We will help him later. Anna, Brendan and Isabella, Anna, Brendan come out and wherever Isabella. you are. You are the most dangerous person. You are the most dangerous that needs person. government you surveillance. That Turn yourself in before it goes Turn too yourself. far. What will they do if they catch us? They won't catch us. But what if? They will experiment on us, study us. Isabella, don't turn yourself Isabella, in. Don't, don't do anything. Yourself. Oh my god, it's Greg. They have him. I need to save him. Isa, just wait. He has to save himself. We can't do anything. Hi Isabella, miss me? Hi, Isabella. Don't worry, me? Greg will don't be worry. fine with me. Kate, is she with them? I can't believe her. No surprise when she tried to stop us back then. She isn't that kind of person, she's jealous of me. No matter what kind of person she is, she's still helping them. So, what should we owe now? We fight back. Mom? I agree with you, miss. We have to fight back. They took my dad right in front of me. I agreed too. I'm tired of running and hiding. We need to rise up and get our freedom back. Who's with me? I'm in. I'm in.
Isabella, your call. I'm in. To be continued, there is something falling down. Ouch! Why did my ship break down just in time? How is my life function? Your condition still remains. No casualties. Okay, that's good. How can I fix my ship right now? I don't have enough tools to fix it alone. What is this place anyway? Where am I? This planet called Earth. A place where there is life. The people here are called humans. They have 8 billion people living on the planet. Wow, that is a lot of people. Many people will cause disaster. They have the same species as us. They keep us as pets. In 2012, the total population of dogs in this world was estimated at 525 million. This number is estimated at 900 million. Like pet, it's pathetic. We are such an intelligent species after all. Oh, is this their dog? So adorable. What is your name? You can't talk. Your barking makes me deaf. The evolution of the dog breed here has not reached our level yet. Um, too bad. Scan this dog for me, please. This is the breed of Husky. Okay, now I can blend in with people here. I will fix this ship later. I hope I can find the necessary equipment here. Oh, it's raining. I need a shelter. This place isn't what I expected. The heck, idiot human. Oh, my god. I almost hit you. Are you okay? What are you doing out here alone? No necklace name? What kind of watch is this? Still have no name. Okay then. I will take you to the nearest pet shop. 10 minutes earlier. Lilo, don't ever do that again. You embarrass the whole family. But that, that can hit me first. Enough. Get in the car right now. Young woman, you will be grounded. <laughs> Lilo. Do not make that face. But I didn't do anything wrong. I told you. It's all her fault. You haven't still realized your mistake. Leela, we'll talk about this seriously when we get home. Oh my god, Dad. Watch out. Oh. My god. What just happened? Is anybody alive? Oh my dog. Why is this happening to me at such a good time? I think I broke my leg. The woman hugged me too tight. I couldn't jump in time. That hurt really bad. I need to find a... That accident made Lilo's parents couldn't make it. Lilo and Lily were sent to the hospital right away after that. Scrapper had broken his leg, but luckily there was an owner pet shop that took him back and cured him. Lilo, you're in there? Yes, you can come in. Hey! How are you feeling right now? Today is the one-year anniversary of the death of our parents. Lily, do you think it's actually my fault? I don't think it's all your fault. Hey, that doll looks lovely. Can I play it with you? Um, no. This is my doll. You can't touch it. Your hands will make it dirty. What? You dare say my hands are dirty? Are you crazy? Lilo. What are you doing? Why did you slap her? What is wrong with you? Dad, she slapped me first. I'm sorry for my daughter's action. That's okay. I guess my daughter wants to play with doll with yours, but she didn't allow. Okay, Lilo, this is unacceptable. You can share your toe with her a little bit. No. I think it's not your fault, but the way you talked to her seems a little bit harsh. Because I'm like that. I don't like strangers touching my things. If you could speak more gently, nothing would happen. You are right. If I had done that, things would have changed differently. And now I think it's my fault. But I'm telling you, everything has happened already and don't think too much about it. Stop overthinking and torturing yourself, Lilo. You couldn't have known what happened. Hey, I have an idea. In order that the atmosphere in the house is not quite down, I suggest that we should buy a dog. Don't you think that is a good idea? Yeah, I love dogs too. We should buy a new one. Okay, let's go. At the
the pet shop. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Why are you sniffing my butt? Stay away from me. Why am I stuck in this place? I need to get out of here as soon as possible. I need to get out of this planet. Dogs here are so weird. Welcome to our shop. Feel like you're at home. These friends here are very friendly. Thank you. Just let us choose. Oh, they are the ticket to get me out of here. Oh, Lily, look at him. He is so cute. Yes, I got their attention. Oh, I remembered him. I took him here a years ago while he had a broken leg. He is a strong one but a little weird sometime. But he is still the good choice. Lily, he impressed me right the first time I saw him. He is the one. Are you sure, Lilo? There are still a lot of choices here. I made my decision. I chose him. Okay, then we will raise him. Sir, I will buy him. Yes, I will get out of here soon. Lovely choice. Come with me to my office. We will do the pet adoption paperwork. Yes, of course. Hey there, big one. You know how to impress me, boy? Yuck, it's all because I want to get out of here, old lady. Okay, okay, stop. Come on, Lilo, let's go home. Yes, come on, boy, let's go home. What's a small house? I can't believe I'm about to be raised by two poor kids. Hey, what's wrong with him? Tell him to shut up. Lilo? Hey, easy boy. We're here. We're home. This is our home. It's small, but it's a home. Come on, let's go inside. Yeah, it's much more small than I expected. I overestimated this. Okay, we should find a place where he can sleep. Oh, we haven't named him yet. Lilo, have you came up with any names yet? Hum. Does Scrapper sound good to you? Scrapper? Sound good to me. I don't like it at all. No, I like that name. Don't change. This is so annoying. I want to communicate with them so much. Like... What? Did he just talk? You heard it too, right Lilo? Um, yeah. Or we both misheard. Shut. I slipped my mouth. <laughs> I guess we all misheard. I think he likes that name. Scrapper. Okay, we will name him Scrapper. Scrapper, welcome to our family. Okay, I will go buy some more stuff for him. Okay. Come on, I will show you around of my house. I can tell this little girl is so annoying. This is my room. It's not as glamorous as other girls' rooms, but it has all the essentials. What? What are you saying? Oh, you mean the picture? These are my family. This is my mom, my dad, my sister Lily and me. Oh, um, my parents got an accident last year. We were fighting while we were driving. My dad slept his steering wheel because there was a stopped car on the road. I don't know why that car stopped on the road. But I think I did see a woman holding a dog. Wait, why is this story so familiar? My sister and I were the only survivors. Today is the anniversary of my parents' death. That is the reason why we brought you home today. So that I can ease the pain. Lilo, I'm back. Oh, she's back. Let's go down and see what she bought for you. <coughs> I bought something for Scrapper. Oh, look, Scrapper. New things for you. Okay, I will set up his place to sleep right at the front door. <coughs> Welcome to our new home, Scrapper. Yay! Our family now has a new member. <coughs> Earlier the next day. Okay, time to have a new day. Yes, big sis. <coughs> Scrapper. Stay at home nicely, will you? <coughs> Good boy, I will be at home soon with you. I won't leave you alone for long. 
Lilo, time to go now. I have to go to work too. Bye, Scrapper. Yes, time for me to fix the machine. My free time has come. I wonder if my parents just come for me or not. Or maybe they are just having fun without me. I don't care about them. I need to hurry. I can't wait to finish school and come home with Scrapper. I wonder what is he doing right now. Must be waiting for me to come back too. Hee <laughs> hee. Luna, are you excited to come home with him too? Yes, of course. Oh, I know you're excited too. Hey loser, are you talking to that ugly doll? Yeah, that doll is so ugly. Who bought you that? Who bought it for me is none of your business. You dare argue with me? Hey, what are you doing? Give it back to me. She belonged to me. No, it's mine now. It's more like it's mine, but I'll throw it in the trash. Hey, give it back to me right now. I'm kidding with you. <laughs> what are you gonna do to us? I told you, I am not kidding with you anymore. Give it back or... Or what? Ah, give it back right now. Never free. I'm calling the teacher. No need to call me. I'm right here. That's it, both of you, into my office right now. Teacher, Lilo hit me first. I didn't do anything. No, teacher, don't believe what she said. She stole my doll. No, it's not. We were just playing around with you. Ashley is right, teacher. We were just having fun with her. No, they are lying. That's enough, three of you. I will call your parents about this. Lilo, I will call your sister. Um, teacher, I didn't do anything. No, you involved in this too. Please, don't call my sister, teacher. No, she should know what you just did today. Haha, <laughs> your life ends, Lilo. Meanwhile with Scrapper. I can't find the necessary tools here. What should I do now? If I need to find important things, I need to go to the stores that are guarded by humans. But I can't do that. I'm just a dog. I'm their pet. What should I do? Stupid ship. Why is it broken at the right time? Ah, uh, I guess I'm stuck here for a while with that annoying little girl. Let's go home before they found out that I'm not at home. Lilo, you're so annoying. You know that? Would you please let me have a normally peaceful day at my work? It's not my fault. Every time I think I'm having a good day, I get a call from your teacher. That was so annoying and wasting my time. Do you know that? I told you, it's not my fault. It was Ashley and Laura's fault. They snatched the doll from my hand. Well then ask them nicely to give it back. Don't you think that I didn't do that? But they told me that they would throw it in the trash. How could I leave this alone when they told me like that? You knew it was a handmade gift from mom. I couldn't let them do that to her gift. You know I can't. It was the only gift from mom I had left. <sighs> okay, next time you just have to call the teacher before you hit them. Sure, I will remember it. But wait, where is Scrapper? I don't know. Where is he? Oh God, are they already home? They're home early, right? Wait a minute, did I just hear you talk? Oh shit, I didn't notice there was a human here. What should I do? What should I do? Whoa, whoa, easy, easy. Is that Scrapper's barking? Oh my God, Scrapper, where have you been? I thought you were lost. Miss, I thought I heard that dog was talking. What? A dog can talk? No, no. It sounds like crazy to me, but I swear I heard it very clearly. Ha ha, Scrapper, can you talk to me? Well, mister, I think he can talk. I guess I'm losing my mind. Maybe your ears need to be checked, ha ha. Come on, let's go inside the house. Okay, I'm gonna make dinner. You two stay here and don't do anything stupid. Okay, sis. Come, Scrapper. 
I have a story to tell you today. Later at night. Look, Scrapper. Look at the sky. Do you see the two brightest stars in the sky? It's my mom and my dad. They're up there and watching me down here. I know they're always watching me. I know I'm not alone. I love them very much, but I couldn't forget that accident day. <coughs> It's all my fault. Okay, time to bed. It's over your bedtime. Yes, sister. Come on, Scrapper. Go back to your sleep. Oh, can Scrapper sleep with me? We promise we won't make any loud sound. Okay, fine. Go to sleep immediately. <coughs> Look like Scrapper agreed with me. Come on, Scrapper. Let's sleep. Good night. You too. Good night, Lily. <coughs> I'm glad that we had you. You are the spiritual gift of my parents. Good night, Scrapper. How much love can this girl give to her parents? Even though they're gone, her love for them still remains. Do I need to reevaluate my feelings for my parents? Is this the planet? I think it is. We should find him and take him home before anyone can find us. Finally, we can find him. Why did he stop his ship on this planet? We should blend in with the dog breed here, so we won't be detected. Haha, <laughs> you're cute, sweetheart. And you look like a captain. The next day. Oh, I need to pee. Lilo, get up, or you will be late for school. I'm getting now. I will go brush my teeth now. Oh hey, who locked the bathroom door? Lily, was that you? Um no, I didn't do anything. I can't open it. Try pushing hard on the door. It's probably stuck. I just want a little privacy. Oh, someone is in there. Yes, it's me. But you're interrupting me so hard. Oh my, it's you, Scrapper. You just used the bathroom. How clever you are. Yes, of course. I'm clever and I can talk too, but I won't say it out loud. Lily, come over here. I need to tell you something. What is it? Scrapper can use a bathroom all by himself. <coughs> really? What about stuff I bought for him? It's useless now. Oh my God! I can't believe I just waste a bunch of money for nothing. Ha ha! We can't know that he was taught that well. I learned it when I was two years old, Miss. Okay, that's good. We don't have to spend money to buy more stuff for him. But right now, we should have breakfast and start a new day. Yes, come on, Scrapper. Let's eat breakfast <coughs> at school. Hey, Lilo. What do you want, Ashley? Are you afraid that you won't bring your doll today? Yeah, we won't do anything. I left it in my backpack. But I won't take it out, Ashley. How dare you! My name is Ashley. That's enough. Three of you, stop everything. Do you want me to call your parents and your sister? But they just kept bullying me. We should start the lesson. Yeah, I'm bored. The ship can't be repaired, and it's boring here. I quite missed when Mom wasn't here. I will stay here forever. Let's go to the school to see what that little girl is doing. That little girl and her sister weren't that bad at all. They really took good care of me. They treated me well. Let's go to the school to see what that little girl is doing. Hey, loser! Look what we got. What? You know what are those? Those are the newest bike. Our parents bought it for us. That's such a pity that you have to walk home. Your parents didn't buy it for you. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have. Hey. This is too far. Scrapper. Hey, where does this dog come from? Whoa, easy boy. Be careful. Run. Scrapper, where did you come from? How do you know where my school is? Thank you for saving me from those bullies. Those kids are really bad kids. No one should take out their parents to make fun of. Not to mention that her parents were dead in a car accident. Come on, let's go home, Scrapper. 
You're truly a friend I have ever got. I'm really happy having you in my life. Come on. Honey, did you see that? Yes, I saw him now. I can't believe it's him. He's grown up after all. It's time for him to come home. Around midnight. What is the light outside? Oh my dog, it can't be true. I know it's you, mom and dad. Hey son, it's been a year. I know, what are you two doing here? We're here to take you home. You've been gone for a long time. Why do you even care for me? You never cared for me before. What is the real purpose? That is the real purpose, son. We are here to take you home. Your mom and I have been thinking a lot for this past year. And we are all at fault for this. But we decide to let go our ego to admit our fault to you. Will you do the same? I will think about it later. Now stay out of my house. Oh, this is your house now, huh? You don't actually belong here, son. Just stay away from me. I'm having a good life here. I can't believe what I just saw. Oh, he is coming up here. Oh, hey, Scrapper, did you just pee pee? Okay, good boy. Let's go back to sleep. Earlier morning. He is still sleeping. I need to be gentle so as not to wake him up. Lily, there is something I need to talk to you. I think there is something I need to talk to you too. Okay, okay you, first? you first. I think I saw Scrapper talking to other dogs last night. That is exactly what I am about to tell you. Weird, huh? Or are we just dreaming the same dream? I don't think that is a coincidence. I think that's exactly what we saw. You still remember there was a man a few days ago who claimed Scrapper was talking, right? I think he is right about Scrapper. It's true that he can talk. So you two knew the truth about me. Who are you exactly? Are you really a dog? Wow wow, relax. I'm not trying to hurt anyone here. Oh, oh my, my god. god, you can talk. You can talk. Yes, of course, I can talk like human. Stay away from us. Dogs can't talk like human. What are you? You'd better explain to me or I will kick you out of my house. What? You can't kick him out of the house, Lily. Why can't I? We didn't know what kind of breed he is. I mean he looks like a husky but a husky can't talk like that. They are stupid, not smart like this. Hey, that's insulting. You, shut up. You are not supposed to talk. Okay. You'd better explain to me now. Talk. What? You just told me not to talk and now you made me explain to you. Should I talk or not to talk? Talk. Okay, the truth is I'm a dog from your planet. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Alien dog. Easy. Look at me like this but I'm not that scary. Okay, keep talking. My planet is a planet where there are no humans. We thrive on our own. Really? You came from another planet? Wow, so cool. My first intention was never to come here. But for some reason, my ship was broken, and I crashed here. I came here a year ago. What are you doing here? When my ship crashed down, I almost hit by a car. The car stopped just in time and a woman picked me up. A moment after that, there was an accident. I got a broken leg and fainted. But the car that caused the accident happened to be the car that you two were in. According to Lilo's story, it was like that. Since I was in the same situation, I'm sure it's your parents' car. Oh my god, so it was you who caused the accident. What? You can't say that. I didn't know that could happen. Get out of my house right now. Lily, you can't do that to him. How could he have known any of this? Please, you can't do this to me. Where am I gonna stay? I don't care. You're the reason causing everything. Lily, you're not thinking straight. Get out. Now. Scrapper. His name is not Scrapper. Please, this is my only home I got here. Lily, please, don't kick him out. Get out. I won't say any more words to you. Oh, Hana. What? You heard me. Oh, Hana means family. Family means no one is abandoned or forgotten. Have you forgotten what mom taught us? Mom is gone. Just you and I are family, not him. 
I won't ask again. Okay, I'm leaving. No, Scrapper. Milo, listen to me. He is an alien dog. Do you aware of that? He comes from a place we don't know exactly how. It might get us in trouble. But he doesn't harm us. He saved me from those bullies. Not yet. You didn't listen to me. I hate you, Lily. Well then, okay fine. I hate you too. That night... They abandoned me just like my parents did. Why is everyone leaving me? What did I do wrong? We're still here, son. We will never leave you again. What are you still doing here? I thought you were home by now. We're sorry for what we did to you. We have realized our mistake and want you to come home with us. Here, they leave you too. Come home with us. There is no place for you here. Okay, I will go home with you. But I gotta say goodbye to Lilo first. Scrapper. Scrapper, where are you? Please come home. I don't want you to leave. I'm so cold right now. Oh my dog, Lilo. What happened to you? Scrapper, is that you? I was looking for you. Yes, it's me. Your body is so cold, you've been out in the rain for so long. I will take you back home. What are you doing? It's time to go home. No, I have to take Lilo back home. Her body temperature dropped badly. She got her sister do it for you. You don't have to do that. Her sister didn't know she was out here. I need to take her back immediately. Lilo, can you do me a favor? Climb on my back and I'll take you home. Oh, oh, okay, scrap, scrap her. What happened? Her body temperature dropped badly because she has been out in the rain for so long. I'll get warm towel for her. What happened? Why are you here? I want to say goodbye to Lilo one last time before I go home. But turn out like this. Scrapper, you're back. Lilo, take it easy. You are not strong enough. Lily, don't blame him. He was just trying to help me. I just wanted him to be back home. Because he is our Ahena. No one should be abandoned or left behind. Okay, if you said so. Scrapper, you can stay here with us. Really? I can stay here? Yay, Scrapper can stay here with us. Thank you, Lily. There is something I need to do first. What's that? I'm calling my parents. They are standing in front of the house now. Lilo, lie down. Scrapper and I will go talk to his parents. Okay. Mom, Dad, meet Lily. Lily, this is my parents. Um, hi. You two can talk too, right? Yes, we can. Mom, Dad, I already decided. I will stay here with them and be a member of this family. I won't go home with you guys anymore. I'm very happy here. Okay, son. If that is what you want, we won't interfere in your life anymore. If you're happy, we're happy too. I am happy right now. Okay, I guess this is our goodbye. Yes. We should return to our ship. Yay, Scrapper will stay here with us. Haha, <laughs> I'm here now. Lilo, get back to your bed right now. I have a true family right here. The end.